Welcome back to a new video. And this is going to be a good one because it's a topic that I have been confronted with on my channel in the comments for years. And I guess I never felt the need to really address it, but, but more so than that, I, th I feel like I never had a proper answer poured into the mold of a, of a fleshed out idea the way I do today. So you're in for a treat. So the topic is superficiality, and more importantly, my own superficiality, which I am often accused of. So doing the whole YouTube channel thing, making a lot of videos on the topic of being ugly, feeling ugly, how to overcome feelings of ugliness, how to operate in a superficial world full of perfect people and you're not perfect yourself. That comes, I guess, with a certain responsibility towards my community, towards my followers, because I have took note of, of the fact that people tend to want to criticize me, if you will, for seemingly having a certain taste in, in women and in partners. To make a long story short, it, it appears as if I often find myself in the company of good-looking people. More importantly, good-looking women, because I am, I still am, a straight man. So people see that and they go, hold up, you're supposed to be one of us, right? You're supposed to be the ugly guru. What are you doing with these, these women and like, why do you, why is it always coincidentally a good-looking a good-looking person that you find yourself being in the company of. The cops on you, you're silly, yo. Motherfuckers is wild and early tonight. Tonight, today, it's not even... It's not even 4 p.m. Anywho. Um, let me, let me catch my train of thought. So, right, so yeah, people go like, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, why does it always have to be a good looking woman that you find yourself dating or being in a relationship with or even just hanging out with, right? So I guess the question is, is the Viking a fraud? Is the Viking actually a superficial person himself that preaches one thing? but then turns around and does the opposite? The short answer to that is yes, I am superficial. Yes, I am very much drawn to physical and superficial aesthetic beauty. And yes, the very first condition for me to be attracted or in love with someone, if you will, is always going to be the way they look. Now, how can I possibly sleep at night knowing that I'm doing the very thing others are doing to me? with the result of me often being looked at as not good enough, too ugly, too deformed, too handicapped, if you will. See, and that's, and that's the entire thing. That's the entire idea. In order for me to be able to live a happy life without walking around with a heart full of hate, 
in this cold and grimy superficial wor world. In order for me to make peace with the things that have been bestowed upon me, the medical conditions in the form of two cancers and various other things. In order for me to be able to do that, it is very important that I allow myself to play by the exact same rules of the game that the rest of the world is playing. I do not try to be above or to be better than that. I think that is a mistake a lot of people make. I think it's naive to participate in a game. I think it's, it's childish and, and ignorant to participate in a game with a clearly defined set of rules and come in and be like, I'm gonna do it differently. Hell to the no. I'm not trying to change anything. At least in that regard. And what I mean when I say that is... My own superficiality, which was present pre-cancer, is my ally. Because as long as I hold on to that, as long as I judge the suitability of women to potentially be my partner or not, as long as that is my primary condition, I am perfectly fine. I am okay knowing that I'm constantly being judged by face value myself. Because if I took it to heart how women treated me and, and how they see me, if I took that personal, it would crush me. I would be angry, I would be mad, I would be very resentful all the time. So I'm making a conscious decision to not, to not only not do that, but to on top of that, flip it into a win, into a benefit. The last thing I want to be is a hypocrite, right? So by allowing people to judge me at face value, by allowing people to not give me a chance beyond my outer shell, I am allowing myself to do the exact same thing without guilt, without negative emotions, without feeling like I'm lying to myself or my audience. The day that I decide that I have to be with somebody who is also physically flawed because of the way I look and because of the fact that I'm physically flawed, that, my friends, is the day that cancer has officially won. Needless to say, that day ain't close. Because I'm not naive, I'm not a sucker, I'm not an idiot. I see things for what it is. I got 20, 20 visions scoping it out. I'm not, I'm not about to come in and complain to the referee that the rules to the game are not fair. I've been studying the game. I've been studying the rule book. I know what it's about. I know the ins and outs. I know how to leverage my cards. I know how to leverage my position into an advantage. So I say, I say all that to say, just because I had a corner on my face chopped off and replaced with various different body parts from my, 
my own body. I'm not going to settle for anything less than what I feel I deserve. And I like beauty. I like it a lot. It makes me happy to look at a beautiful woman. Like it actually, it inspires me. Not even in a sexual way, not even close to that. I'm talking about, there is not a building in this world, there is not a beach, there is not a painting, there is not a statue, there is not a, a cave or a cliff or a sunset that in my opinion comes close to the beauty of a woman. And me loving myself and me refusing to devalue my worth because of what has happened to me, I will continue to uphold those same standards in terms of what I like and what I like to be around and more importantly, what I like to connect myself to in the context of dating and relationships. So, if that makes me superficial, then I am the very most superficial person on YouTube. Now, does that mean that I'm incapable of being friends with uh, not-so-perfect people who are not that good-looking? Obviously not. I hope you do understand what I'm saying, and I hope you do understand the nuance and the context of this message. I, uh, I am mainly, not, well, not mainly, I'm pretty much only talking about the context in which I'm attracted, in which there is a sexual aspect, and in which we're talking about more than just friends, right? So that is why you shall continue to see me with beauty by my side as long as I live. And that is why I will continue to be able to live in this world, being judged, being pointed at, being discounted for the way I look, and not think anything of it, not take it personal, not get angry, not get mad. Don't be above the game. Don't be a sucker. Don't try to be better than that. You're probably not. I know I'm not. So there you have it. Reason, rationality, and logic will get you a long way. Alright guys, that's it. Comment your thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Am I a psycho? Do I have a point? Eh. I don't know. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And don't forget to hit the thumb up. Peace out.